tell us about the look, what we're creating. It's a very beautiful, confident woman. Um, the clothes are very structured, there's a lot of colour in the clothes. Um, and David really wanted to have this pop of colour on the lip. Um, but done in a slightly different way. Do they have eyeshadow or shadow? It does, it does have, it's a, it's a lipstick called So Showed and then we're giving the depth with a lip pencil um, in Vino um, and Current, uh, which are very dark burgundies. And then right through the center here, we're putting a, a natural pigment, which is a powder. Um, in pink bronze. So I want to know about the brows, because her brows are beautiful. We're just kind of brushing them through with some brow gel, just to kind of groom them. And then when needed, just filling in, so we're not creating this traditional arched brow, it's a little bit more of a kind of straight structure. That's more in style Fashion right now. Brow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I and mean, we're just using a really uh, kind of full mascara called Houghton Naughty Mascara. Love the lashes. Yeah. <laughs> She's got gorgeous lashes, so it's just enhancing, again, her natural beauty. So David, you're the first South African designer to show solo in Fashion Week. Yeah. How are you feeling this time? Every season is different. And every season is like, um, what is he going to give us this season? This season you're going to see a beautiful um, feminine allure, which is the, the, the theme for our collection. Celebration of women and uh, celebration of Africa. There's a lot of African print coming on today. And a celebration of... Um, just the color black. We have a cast of uh, about 17 black girls and like all shades of black from albino to like super dark. So we're celebrating that as well to show the world that, you know, black women are the future or any woman is the future, but let's just embrace everybody to say not only a particular race is, you know, can be dominant on the runway, but it's also uh, bringing the world together. As, as a designer, it's very important because when people buy my product, they don't buy it because I'm black, they buy it because it's a beautiful product and they want to see themselves in it. So we're trying to bring the whole world under one roof. You said your brand is global. Yeah. It's not only South African, yeah. but you're always inspired by South Africa, right? Yeah. So where do we see that? Do we see it in the color? Do we see it in the prints? Or do we just see it everywhere? You will see it in everything because the heritage is so strong. Um, you will see how we embrace color. You'll see how we, the craftsmanship that went into the garments, like all the beadwork, is all done in South Africa. We are very much into crafts and we, we pride ourselves in it. And um, that's my biggest story that I'm telling the world to say South Africa has it going. We have the workmanship, we have the craftsmanship, and also we have the quality. And um, I'm standing here not only as a fashion designer from South Africa, but as an ambassador for my country and also for my continent to say the world needs to start paying attention in what's happening in Africa because we're here to stay. <laughs>